Hello, everyone, and thanks for participating, and thanks to IIED for organizing this webinar. I'll introduce the idea of ocean accounts that we've been developing together with IIED, UN Environment, and many other partners. It's based on the principle of positive feedback uh, between evidence and governance, that is, using available evidence to inform decisions and understanding what evidence is needed to make better decisions. This is true for all domains, but information on the ocean is even more fragmented across sectors, sciences, and agencies, so we think there's a role for ocean accounts. Why do we talk about accounts? Well, it's not only monetary information that we're accounting for. We can apply the accounting approach to spatial and other physical data. The principle is to take a holistic conceptual view and to put what we know into an integrated platform. This has worked very well for economic and social data, and we're making progress on environmental data with land, water, energy, waste, and ecosystem accounts. We need to include a few other principles, uh, stocks and flows, cons consistent units of measure and valuation methods, and there are many other principles embedded in our documentation. Putting these fragmented data into a platform also helps identify inconsistencies and gaps in the data. We're not making this up. The system of national accounts has been in place for over 70 years. The system of environmental economic accounting has been applied for about 25 years. Uh, we can think of small-scale fishers and IUU that should be in the SNA, but not often counted. So all countries have an SNA, and they can improve the detail in this SNA to help identify and, and measure small-scale fishers. Uh, the SIA can be used to track fish stocks, harvesting, and fish use. Uh, it can be used to track waste, but it's not often done subnationally. About 90 countries use parts of the SIA for waste, water, energy, and land accounts. Many are also working on SIA ecosystems. We use this to track ecosystem types, the conditions, and the services, but this hasn't been well tested for, for the marine ecosystems. About 15 countries are working on SIA ecosystem accounts. We still need to do some work to fill in the, the missing bits to address SDG 14. Uh, Small-scale fisheries, for example, are beneficiaries of ecosystem services. They depend on a healthy ocean and fair markets, and this is one of the areas that we're working on. Definitions around technology, governance, and management practices also need some work. So we're looking for partners to conduct national ocean account pilots to test the overall approach and to develop recommendations for these missing areas. There's a story behind the elephant and the whale. The elephant represents the components of the sea ecosystems, and the whale represents the ocean accounts. And one of our objectives is to get the whale talking to the elephant here. Um, the problem hasn't been so much the lack of data, but the lack of a blueprint to select, standardize, and analyze these data. We suggest focusing on a subset of core ocean statistics that most countries will find useful to inform their planning. We found that with ecosystem accounting in general, that maps and tables need to inform each other. We can use maps to create tables, tables to create maps. Some people think more spatially. Some information comes from, from maps. We need to bring the maps together with the tables. Ocean accounts is the beginning of that blueprint, and this is very well covered in the background paper by the IIED. So what does, all, what does it all mean for small-scale fisheries? Well, we suggest to use existing statistical standards like the SNA industrial classifications, the SIA, for example, uh, to analyze small scale fisheries. There may not be a need to reinvent the wheel here. These standards are used for many purposes and provide a means of linking to other national and international work. For example, if a country is already working on a SIA ecosystems account, then ocean accounts are a natural extension. The feedback will also help improve those standards. When we need new definitions and classifications, agreeing on those globally will ensure a common approach to supporting countries. Uh, using common definitions also helps with international comparisons. So the idea is that IIED or ESCAP or United Nations Statistics Division can provide capacity building technical support on ocean accounts, and we're all telling the same story. 
Uh, many people don't think of the national statistical system as providing anything but what they can find on their web pages. Um, we think of the national statistical system as all the people in national statistical agencies and units within line departments. Uh, they do provide a lot of information, but when we go look at their web pages, it's usually not what we're looking for. But in fact, they're quite interested in improving the relevance of their information. They could, for example, improve their surveys and registers. They could add detail to the system of national accounts, and they can support the implementation of the SIA and OCEAN accounts. And many are doing this. But we need to be patient. It takes a little bit of time. Survey cycles may take a year or two. Funding capacity building, technical assistance might be needed, but this is what we're doing um, across the UN and with the partners providing countries with the capacity and assistance they need to bring their information together for the ocean. Thank you very much.